me, so I apologize for those. No, don't. <laughs> Thank you. The closest I've ever come to love was my first orgasm. Now I'm talking about a real orgasm, one of those that'll have you with those back-to-back -back, back spasms, toe curling, nail digging orgasms. Hmm. Now here I thought, like everyone else, he would be all talk. Needless to say, the next day I couldn't even walk. And after the fourth one, he had me thinking about going half on a baby. He's the type that you have to keep yourself from hitting up daily. He had me better than ever, and I was barely keeping afloat. And now I'm wishing I hadn't made him wear a raincoat. Come on. <coughs> Sad to say it didn't happen until I was 22. Said he liked to hit it from the back because he liked that point of view. And I was hardly up for disagreeing. And hell, I'm only a human being. <laughs> I always thought sex was good, but with him, it was amazing. When he smacked my ass, he told me it was for misbehaving, and I replied, I'm good at being badly. Handcuffed me and told me it was for my safety, and even better yet, he was all for the giving. My thighs wrapped around his face until his beard went missing. I was his plate, then he licked it clean. Fuck the energizer bunny, he was a damn machine, and when he finished, he wiped his face against my thighs. I said, thank you. He said, the pleasure was all mine. Now I'm not for withholding, and he was up for receiving. I took one look at him, and I became greedy, finding a taste for something that I was never comfortable with. So I licked my lips, grabbed his wig, and I sucked the soul out his dick. Rewind! <laughs> Love those. Thank you. Yeah. 